And in Reisterstown, you can find the Maryland Horse Breeders Association new Maryland Horse Library and Education Center. Marty Bass takes us there in today's Where's Marty? Well, good morning, Tim. Good morning, Santa. Bird. What's going on, brother? Great to have you on TV. Hey, Tim, a quick weather report, and I think Dick Hagman and Mary Monari, our guests right now, will attest to this. It is deceptively chilly out here. That it is. I mean, I mean, it really is. That sun's dim behind high clouds, and it's deceptively chilly out here. So here's the deal. Dick paints the silks on the cupola after the Preakness Stakes is run. The winning silks go on the cupola by that hand right there. But you also have an interesting business. It's called Art at Work. Main Street, Reisterstown is a very big deal. This is a, 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 an historic area, and you're it with is. Main Street, Reisterstown. I am with Reisterstown Main Street, yes, and uh, we are excited to celebrate their opening because this town was founded by John Reister in the late 1700s to uh, provide a one-day travel stop for horse people to if somebody was riding a horse from Baltimore to Gettysburg taking a trip up this was the rest stop it was one day ride from Baltimore right so historic Reister sound really is historic Reister sound so the new library here wanted to do a fundraiser and suggested that folks may contribute and get their silks on the wall that's where you come in these are not paintings these are these are um, vinyl decals digital prints on vinyl specifically for brick walls. And when you walk up and get real close to them, you can see the texture of the brick through them. There are 12 up now. It's possible more will adorn this side of the building, which is the side most people, it's the most visible as you're coming up Reister's Town North. Road. Mm -hmm. And this is going to become a local landmark because this, this education center here, this library is here for a long, long time. And this building goes back to the 1860s. So people can come up here, pull in the parking lot, and do a selfie. Absolutely. That's the beauty of having these murals. It's, it is. How long did it take you to do these? Oh, uh, it took us three days to install them, just to install them. And it took us about three days to prep them and have them ready to install. And once again, we want to shout out Cricket Goodall, who is the driving force behind this and who is in Annapolis right now for the opening session of the Maryland State Legislature. That's how important the thoroughbred community is to the state of Maryland. But you wanted to make sure that this was done right because, man, oh, man, have you done a selfie in front of your own work yet? I have not. I have pictures of it, but I don't have a selfie yet. You see that camera right there taking a picture? We're doing the best selfie you're ever going to get here right now. Hey, Mary, thanks exactly. for joining us. Well, really thank appreciate you for inviting that. me. Really appreciate that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw it back to a warm Studio A on TV Hill, but we're very happy to have been hosted by such an incredible facility in Maryland. Back to you. All right, thank you, Marty. Very